guys, welcome to another Spigot plugin tutorial, and today it's on the awesome plugin Mine Forest. So this is a very, very cool plugin, and as you can see, when you join the game, you get this lovely message that pops up, which can also be edited within the config file. So over there, you can see some cannibals. Oh my god, there's one close, bobbing around in the water. And when you actually kill these, you get a cannibal skull. So, um, you just kill one, there it is. We got two cannibal skulls now. So, how do you set up this plugin? Well, it's quite simple, so let's get into it. So, first of all, you're going to want to set a spawn uh, by doing mine forest set spawn. Very, very simple, like that. Then, we're going to want to set a lobby, so you probably want to put rules and how to play within the lobby. Uh, but I'm going to set it on top of a tree just for the tutorial. And finally, we need to set um, the protection area, which acts as world guard. So this spawn area here is um, the protection. So uh, I'm just going to set it quite close by just for the tutorial, but you might want to make it a bit bigger. And if you're wondering what this plugin is about, it is based on The Forest, which is an early access game on Steam. Uh, looks really awesome, I've watched gameplay footage, but have never played it myself. Um, I might get it if it goes on sale sometime, but um, mm, I don't know. And I also have a survival book in my inventory, which you get when you either join the game or you right click the sign, which I'm going to make here. Very, very simple. In square brackets, you put spawn. There we go, and you should get this popping up. So uh, I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to right click, and here we go. So I've got my survival book, and if we right click it, we have all these contents within, like so. And what we can do, we can actually click them and build different things, similar to the forest. Um, yeah, so let's build a shelter first, that's quite important. And this item actually needs um, 82 logs, is it? 82. Crikey, that, that's a lot. So, um, you get the iron axe, which uh, is the main tool within the forest, by, I believe, joint rejoining the server. Uh, I think that's what it said on the speaker page. Uh, so, I'm just going to spawn in 82 logs. Um, this is easier. And what you do, you right click the sign with the logs. Very, 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 very cool. I've never seen this port, and it updates every time you right click. Um, let me just check my sound isn't, yes. This, I don't know whether this is making a sound. Okay, it is making a sound. Uh, hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, I'll put the last 18 logs in. And there we go. We've done it. We have built our log cabin. And that looks very, very nice. So we can be protected from all those nasty cannibals who want to eat me. Um, I probably taste quite nice, so yes. Uh, furniture, maybe. That, that's pretty cool. Traps, very, very cool. Uh, fire, fire is important, so basic fire. And we're going to click this. So, yes, here's the fire. And this needs sticks and leaves. Uh, interesting. So, a couple of sticks. Need two of them. There we go. And we need leaves. So, I18. Boom, boom, boom. Four, five, six. There we go. So this is a really, really cool plugin. Um, allows you to do stuff like that. Food construction. Small garden. This is currently glitched at the moment, uh, where it, they don't always spawn as dirt. But I'm sure the developer will fix it very soon. Um, effigy, effigy, effigies. I wonder what that is. A small effigy. Effigy. Oh, effigy. <laughs> Oh, I, I've n never seen that word spelled before. Rock. Does that actually work? <laughs> I. N right, that's that's literally baffled me. I rock. No way. I never realised that that would work. Uh, so, rock. I wonder what rock is. Hmm. Maybe it's cobblestone. Yeah, it's got to be cobblestone. Yes. Heads. Oh, so that's why you need the cannibal heads. So let's go hunting chaps. And they've despawned, haven't they? Fantastic. Um, maybe if I just spawn in some heads. But uh, if I can't, yeah, I won't worry. Have you seen these new banners? They're pretty cool. Um, they obviously don't work on servers because buckets. Um, go on the kaput. 
but uh, yeah, I haven't really played much 1.8. Uh, not the small garden, the effigy. <laughs> right, here we go. So it does work. And here is an effigy, so presumably that keeps away all the nasty cannibals. So you probably want to put that around your house. Um, not far away from your house, so they all go to your house. Uh, if you get me. So that's the plugin. Um, it is a premium plugin on Spigot, so you will need to create an account uh, to be able to buy it. The link will be on the top of the page on the right. And it should say buy $10 euros. I think euros. But yeah, very, very cool plugin. Um, it's premium, so that means it will be updated regularly, and you can contact the developer for bugs, and he will fix it very, very quickly. Um, because if this was a free plugin, it would almost never be bug, bug fixed and whatnot. So uh, you're assured of a great product if you buy it. Uh, he's also made a Rust sort of plugin. Um, I've never actually played Rust, but I will hopefully be covering that plugin once he has um, sorted out um, the recoding of it. So anyway, um, that's the true chart. That is the tutorial over. Um, I'm losing my ability to speak. And that's the plugin. So, down the link will be below. Uh, you can check it out. And hopefully, you have a lot of fun with it. So, I'm off for the day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, last time I said that, I lied. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, and let's try and aim for 30 likes. Uh, I've never actually said that before. I don't know why. Just never crossed my mind. Uh, so, 30 likes. Let's see if we can do it and I will be off. Goodbye.